Welcome to Instruments Direct. Today we're going to take a look at the new CRR clamp-on transducer for the GE Panametrics ultrasonic transit time flow meters. Coming up next on Tech Review. <laughs> With the introduction of the new GE Panametrics PT900 portable ultrasonic flow meter, it also included the release of a brand new set of clamp-on transducers, the CRR. The CRR592 is a 1 MHz clamp-on transducer for pipe sizes 2 to 24 inches. And the CRR591 is a half MHz for pipe sizes 6 inches and larger. But you will note there are some differences between the good old CRS transducer like the, the 402 and the 401 transducer. For example, you will note the stem length is a bit shorter on the new CRR, which is really not such a big deal. However, the cable connection has changed from a BNC to a threaded TNC connection. Oh no, what am I going to do about my drawer full of old transducers? Don't worry, just wait. The new signal cable for the PT900 is a two-pin LIMO connector that plugs into the flow meter and a TNC connector for the new CRR transducer. So, if you want to use an old transducer with the bean kink connections with this new CRR signal cable, then you will need to use a pair of these. A TNC to BNC adapter. This will be used with the CRS, CPT, CET, and other transducers for the PT900. Or you can use the old LIMO to BNC signal cable with your old BNC transducers. Now just be careful using that skinny old signal cable because they tend to break. One solution is not to swing on them like a Tarzan swing. But if you're rough on your cables, guess what? You can always use an aftermarket heavy duty cable which has a LIMO to BNC connector. Check out the links and show notes below for more details. Since the profile or the height of the transducer is smaller, it has a spacer or holder that replaced the aluminum insert attached to the top so it works with the new mounting clamp. Same basic principle as the good old mounting clamp. It's a little bit trimmed down in weight but just as sturdy as it was before and of course it still has the chain, the ruler and a new clamping mechanism. Now this mechanism is much fancier than the old screw down method. This new clamp has a spring loaded cantilever that compresses on the transducer spacer assembly to the pipe. So here's the mounting clamp assembly and here is our transducer with the spacer on the top there and our TNC connection right here. We're going to put it in the mounting clamp, slide it in there, tighten down the cantilever, and we are good to go. Thank you for watching our program. For more information on today's subject, check out our show notes and links listed below. And if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. As always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in our tech review program. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. We'll see you next time.